Welcome to this complete guide on one formas Milky Way Part 1 Maps Evaluation Exam. If you're here, chances are you just signed up or were invited to the OneForma Internet Judging Project and you're looking for help on how to pass the Milky Way Part 1 test. Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to walk through everything you need to know to pass the exam, understand the maps evaluation criteria, avoid disqualification, and become a successful rater on one form a scientific. Let's start with what Milky Way actually is. The Milky Way project is one Forma's long-term maps evaluation task. It's run by Scientific, formerly known as Bactera, and it's designed to improve location-based services like map accuracy, search result relevance, and business information quality. You, the internet judge, play a key role by evaluating map results using real-world queries and applying detailed guidelines. Milky Way Part 1 is the first part of the qualification exam. It focuses on your ability to judge how relevant, accurate, and complete map results are based on a user's search intent. This includes evaluating businesses, points of interest, directions, names, locations, and categories. Now, what's important to know about this exam? First, it's not just about clicking right or wrong. It's about consistency, logic, and your ability to think like a machine trainer. They want to see if your judgment aligns with how the map algorithm should ideally behave. You'll be given a map query, for example, coffee shops near downtown Atlanta, and shown a few candidate results. Your task is to rate each one using the provided scale, typically ranging from not relevant, slightly relevant, mostly relevant, to highly relevant. In some cases, you'll be asked to flag results that are incorrect, misleading, duplicated, or outdated. You may also need to provide written justifications for your decisions, especially when your answer differs from the expected majority response. That's where most people mess up, the written explanations. You need to be short, clear, and specific. For example, instead of writing, this is bad, write, the business is permanently closed and doesn't match the user intent. Let's break down what each relevance rating really means. Highly relevant means the result perfectly matches the user's intent, location, and category. It's spot on. Mostly relevant is close, maybe slightly outside the intended location or slightly miscategorized but still helpful. Slightly relevant means it's related, but not what the user likely wants. Not relevant means the result is wrong, misleading, or completely off topic. Now here's a powerful tip. Always ask yourself this one question, if I were the user, would I be satisfied with this result showing up first? That mental check works like magic. Let's talk about map features. You'll often have to evaluate place names, addresses, business hours, and categories. If a user searches 24-hour pharmacy near me, but the result is a gas station open 24-7, it might be slightly relevant but not highly relevant. Understand what the user really wants, not just what the search text says. For categories, always match them exactly. If someone searches a vegan restaurant, don't rate a vegetarian place as highly relevant unless it's also clearly labeled as vegan. Next up, the layout of the test. Milky Way Part 1 includes a simulation test environment. You'll have to rate multiple examples, usually 20 to 30, with different difficulty levels. Each task might include a map snippet, a search query, and three to five candidate results to evaluate. Take your time. Read the guidelines before starting the simulator. The test is timed, but rushing through will only get you flagged for inconsistencies. It's better to be right than fast. Make sure you don't contradict yourself across similar questions. They check for logic and consistency. If two tasks are nearly identical but you rate them completely differently, the system will flag your answers. Let's talk about written justifications again, because this is where many applicants fail. Your explanations should use map-specific language. Words like outside target location, incorrect category, business no longer exists, or irrelevant to query intent show that you understand the guidelines. Avoid vague comments like, I don't like this, or looks wrong. Be precise. 
Your justification should make sense to another human and also work for a machine learning trainer. Now here's something that's not in the handbook, spelling and punctuation matter. One forma evaluates your ability to communicate clearly. If your justifications are full of typos, you might pass the logic test but fail the writing standard. Another thing to watch out for, don't overuse, not relevant. Some raters think it's the safest choice, but using it too often signals that you're not thinking critically. Use all categories appropriately. Let's touch on duplicate listings. If you see multiple identical results in a candidate list, flag duplicates properly. Also pay attention to outdated businesses. If the location has been closed permanently, you should rate it low and mention that in your notes. Now, what's the difference between part one and part two? Part one is a structured simulation, fewer variables, controlled environment. Part two is more real world with messy data, oddball queries, and harder judgment calls. Passing part one unlocks access to part two. Failing part one. Don't panic. You can often reapply or retake after a few weeks, depending on their hiring cycle. Use your first attempt to learn the structure. Now let's talk about earnings. Once you're qualified, Milky Way is one of the best long-term paying projects on one forma. It's consistent, it pays hourly, and you can work from anywhere. Some raters earn $200 to $400 monthly part-time while others working full hours make over $1,000 per month depending on task availability. To stay on the project, you must maintain quality. That means following the guidelines daily, not just during the exam. Expect periodic reviews and quality audits. Let's recap everything quickly. Milky Way Part 1 is a map evaluation test on one former run by Scientific. You'll be judging the accuracy and relevance of map results based on real user queries. You'll need to rate candidates correctly, provide short written justifications, and stay consistent across all tasks. Use logical reasoning. Ask yourself if the result satisfies user intent. Focus on categories, business names, location proximity, and relevance. Be careful with written comments. Stay professional. Use evaluator language and proofread your answers. Avoid emotional or vague phrases. Don't rush. Take time to understand the simulation. Use the guidelines as your Bible. Once you pass, the opportunities grow. You can get more hours, more tasks, and higher pay as a trusted contributor. One forma often assigns Milky Way raters to related projects, so passing this is a big career boost in the online judging world. Alright, that's everything you need to know to pass Milky Way Part 1 confidently. If you found this useful, consider watching our Milky Way Part 2 breakdown next. Also, like this video, comment Milky Way Past White Heavy Checkmark if this helped you, and subscribe for future uploads on OneForma, TELUS, and Online Rater Job Guides. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your Milky Way exam.